Hello and welcome to Quartz Party Blood Drive. So, I didn't actually play the previous two games, Quartz Party and Quartz Party Book of Shadows, I believe it's called. But I did watch someone else play those games, but I vaguely remember what happened. And... Or... I vaguely remember anything about the plot. And I just remember it was really convoluted or something like that. <laughs> So, why did I decide to get this game? Well, I don't know. It was coming out and it seemed pretty interesting. So I said, why not? I mean, I wasn't really into Course Party that much, but whatever. <laughs> so, let's jump right in. Chapter Zero. Chapter Zero Zero. A Faint Light. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my little backstory. Well, oh, background. Of myself and this game. <laughs> so it seems to have voice acting. Japanese voice acting though. I don't think you can change that to option. You know, I think I still remember what happened now. At least at the end of Book of Shadows. Oh, so this part doesn't have voice acting. It had been two months since the Book of Shadows incident, so it's the Book of Shadows. I've been critically, critically wounded by the blowback from the sorcery I involved myself with, but Nakashima was there to carry me out from the crumbly Shinozaki estate. The two of us were picked up on the side of the old mountain road and rushed to a hospital, where I was restored to stable condition. The grimoire, responsible for so much of the horror everyone had been through, the Book of Shadows, was buried in the rubble of the estate when its roof collapsed. Oh yeah, just a heads up, I'm not very good at, uh, yeah, uh, reading? <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not very good at reading. So, I don't know. Do you mind it? Maybe I, like, do you mind if I read or not? If, because I wouldn't mind not, just not reading. Maybe I should. I hope I'm not going too fast. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, you're a horrible person. Why would you do that? And why would you two agree to this without knowing what you're doing? Now we'll always be together! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I remember now the Sachiko ever after. I mean, I remember the beginning of the game, I just don't remember the end. I did watch the OVA, so. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, the Naomi went a little crazy. Yeah, it's too bad what happened to Psycho. 
オミナオミ飲みなさい飲むのああ、yeah, I hope the audio is alright It was pretty quiet then Wow, the mom is really loud してから。初めて投稿したピサラギ学園訪問前で私は校舎を見つめて身をすくめた訪問もくぐれば鈴本さんや結衣先生たちのいない現実を嫌わなく思い知らされるから。篠崎。Hey guys and gals。この世界と心の底から分かり合えるのはこの五人だけ。存在の消えた四人のことを共有できるから。おかえり。That looks like an awkward hug, but okay. Hmm, so I take it Ayumi's our main character. Oh, I can move! Alright. I take it this gonna be a lot of reading and little gameplay. I guess I'm really used to that. Should be used to that by now, because I've I've been playing the Hyper Dimension of Tuning games. Although I think it has a lot more gameplay. I mean, at least it has a Shinobu game system. Okay. Let's just have one here. Hmm, what can I do? Okay, I can sprint with a circle. Yeah, this is just X. Oh. Oh yeah, did that have more dialogue? Of course he would. I remember he had a huge... Uh, they talk to you. Do you ever go to the school? Genki, that's it. To say it, it's a little bit difficult. But everyone is coming back. Look, I'm checking for all the dialogues. Okay. She she said nothing. She still has nothing. Okay. Okay. But he gets it though. Sure, okay. 
Okay. みんなついてくからぞ。いや。この時、私はまだ知らなかった。全人症のあった多重閉鎖空間どころではない現実のこの世界に幸せのパーティー<笑>おまじない好きだよねまたなんか新しいの仕入れなきゃママ今日は早番だといいなお腹空すいちゃったダウンゴーネルダートゥーナウママイエスデアなってば、サイレンス。of course。わあ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。I thought they were all put to rest. Okay, so the only ghost I remember was the children. I thought that was sawed because it gave back their tongues. Hey, she's getting a mata o kurimasta. She was the two gakte no sakuma rinsawa. The woman got all it a jota de hakin sartori. So she broke, like the ghost broke her spine? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, what's her name? Her name was like Rin Sakuma or something? Even though her name was this female student, she actually has a name. Hmm. Oh, there goes Rin. 
転んだ拍子に落ちていた刃物でああも大けがするなんて一体何をしていたの歩ゆみ That's all. That's great. I tripped and fell on the cutting tool and I was out of commission for two months. Great. Well, yes, humans are weak and fragile. Don't ever forget that. Hot toilet! Well, So the mom doesn't know she's dead? Oh. I really hope not, but most likely she is. Cause the hair's head like goes flat or something. <laughs> Oh boy, she looked like she hurt her hand from that. Oh, there's blood in that one. I hope there is a way to bring her back. But wasn't that what she was doing with this ritual or something? <laughs> yeah, she wanted to find a way to bring back those who uh, got raped from existence. Try to bring them back. Like she was trying to bring back her friends or something. <laughs> I believe that was the idea. Massive earthquake rippled through the basement of the Shinosaki estate, leaving it teetering on the edge of collapse. Or still, the whole place was in flames. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Hinoe, right? Hinoe's life, lifeless body appeared as if shimmering in the fire's light, red glittering off red around the edges of the blades that were rapidly sluicing, sluicing her flesh. Was with it. Whatever. Yeah, maybe I should just not read. <laughs> they danced around and drew, and drew her almost whimsically, prompting unnatural gyrations throughout her body without ever letting her so much as touch the ground. Wow. I grabbed onto Hinoe's body in a vain attempt to pull her to safety. But Hinoe used what little strength she had left to push me back. Yeah, see? Her head went splat. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep reading for a little bit, but, you know, maybe episode 2 I'll stop. <laughs> I could distinctly hear these words in the back of my head, spoken in a soft, soothing voice. So is it like, telepathy? Because her head is gone, right? It was short-lived, though, as the ceiling suddenly became red and a massive beam fell from above, crushing her upper body entirely. Oh. With this, I shot to my feet and began running in circles, screaming uncontrollably. I would have run right into the rapidly spreading fire if Naomi hadn't caught me. Really? You started running around in circles? <sighs> my hands and feet 
are covered in red bruises and cuts from the swarm of blades that my spell had summoned. Naomi was bleeding as well, but nowhere near as badly. Oh, so that's what happened. So she summoned unlimited blade works? I really can't blame Yumi for how she's acting, though. I mean, her sister just died in front of her. I mean, her sister just died in front of her. I mean, her sister just died in front of her. I mean, her sister just died in front of her. I mean, her sister just died in front of her. I mean, her sister just died in front of her. I mean, her sister just died in front of her. I mean, her sister just died in front of her. I mean, Book of Shadows de Kromajutsu Tanishita Watashiwa Yumeka Utsutsuka mo wakaranai Osoroshii jitai ni osowarete Hinshi no chushou otte shimatta no da Doushite ano basho ga wakatta no ka wa shire nai kere do Tobi konde kita o neichan ga私を変わって。結局私は何もできず、ただ犠牲を増やしただけだった。Did she just stab herself? Stop doing that. No, I had a terrible like experience as a let's see when I was a child. My uh cousin cut her own wrist. It was ew, it was disgusting. I didn't really understand at the time what was going on, but I just remember like she cut her wrist. She was slicing to her wrist and it was the cut was really deep. It's almost halfway, almost halfway, to her like hand, well, to her wrist. <laughs> the hell's that? なんだよ、やめるなよ。そのまま死ねよ。One shoe on my desk and sporting a rare open mouth version of a shit eating grin, a boy wearing a black parka was just somehow there in my room without explanation. An open mouth version of a shit eating grin. Huh? <laughs> それが嘘だろって言ってんだよ。本心はどこだ、クソ鬼。殺したいんじゃなくて助けたいんだろ。苦しんでるてめえをよ。やつ当たりしてねえで動けよ、あなた<笑> <笑>誰よ。なんなのよ。何しに来たのよ。誰でもねえさ。嘘ついたまま本当に終わっちまっちゃう。つまんねえぞ。So, I'm sure it's the enemy, right? Cola gum? Without word, he motioned for me to put my hand out and unceremoniously plopped a piece of 10 yen gum into it. 
The boy smiled with a cold yet oddly kind expression, then finally took his leave by tripping out the window. Okay. <laughs> you, you really don't, like, wonder who he was? Like, you didn't bother to go check the window and see where he's... Yeah, where he's running off to? All I could do was stand there and sob. Well, I guess she's not really in the mood. But yeah, Kevin would blame her. Don't, don't, don't go stabbing yourself. Yeah, he's gonna see him, right? Yeah, they're gonna cross paths. I know, right? His design, his character design is so... Uh, whatever. I think I'll keep going until I hit a save point. If not, I think it's fine. I mean, it's not. I'm not that far in the game right now, right? Yeah, すごい空だな。雲が全然ない。秋晴れだな。この辺で食べよう。しかしなんか妙に軽いな弁当箱。<laughs> I mean, he just, he just looks angry. Uh, Yoshichi. <laughs> Time to get some rest. Oh, I don't have to get some rest. Or bread or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ara, Konda Tokora de Gohanna, no? Kyoa Haraterushi. Now, why did she put it in the box instead of just giving to him? This was our class T8, teacher's assistant, right? Miss Kuan Niwa, age 24. Of course, you got the other name. No, I'm just kidding. She was an English teacher with white hair, blue eyes, and a soft, delicate voice. クラスメートの話によると、俺たちが天神小学校から戻った時から、ちょうど半年前にこの学校に赴任してきた先生らしいな。
ゆい先生という別の先生がその立ち位置だったんだだからこのクオン先生には悪いけど天神小学校から生還した俺たちはみんなこの事実に違和感を感じていた買われたんだよ Yeah, this part doesn't have any voice acting, does it? I just realized that. Oh, how did I check the log again? Yeah. Whatever. Hold the O button while moving the sprint. The sprint tree gradually drains your stamina, and you run out completely, you won't be able to move again for a short time. Your stamina will recover whenever you're not sprinting. However, so be sure to slow down every now and then. Actually, run out. Ooh. Ha! What's up? I've got lunch, so I'm good. I'm gonna start eating and enjoy this nice weather while you go run and buy yourself some bread. Heh. <laughs> no, you suck. Hey, you don't get a move on, you'll be out of bread for sure. I'm gonna press X from over here. No, no. Okay. Alright, let's go explore. I think. Maybe I should end it here. Oh. I can't even go inside of school. I. I didn't make it. I should have to stop there. Shikata ne na. Ore no ebi fry i pon yari yo. Ure. My eyes shone the shone upon weaving those of the magnificent magnificent golden fry shrimp. Honto ka? Warei na. Um. Man in black. Wow. Eh? Is there a big surprise to be honest? I've seen this a ton of times in anime. <laughs> the man in black had the over a black. That queer box containing pork cutlet on rice with egg. Picture perfect every way. It's my favorite meal, down to the last detail. Huh. Well, you better eat it fast. Yoshiki utterly dumbfounded, loosened his grip on the fried shrimp he was holding. They plummeted to the ground, defeated by his by this new contender. This thug is so shiny, it's still sparkling. What they're gonna pick up later? As an item. <laughs> As like an item. Well, who else would it be? She's the only one who knew about your uh, pork cup there, rubber. And Yoshiki. But come on, Yoshiki. You can't afford a hot carpet. <laughs> Okay, let me see. I don't think this one has 
any voice acting. Huh? The classroom glowed with the golden hue of twilight. But my gaze was fixed at the floor. It must have been obvious to Nakashima that I had, I had a lot on my mind. I should have saved it. It ended this video. Ah, uh, the moment I can move. <laughs> she asked this as she sat down the desk in front of me, facing backward. She was trying to comfort me. But she had dark circles around her eyes too. She and I must have looked very similar to one another. From, uh, from an outside perspective. My left hand was still wrapped in bandages. It dropped and sensed... And sensed... <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. I told you I'm terrified already. And sensed it reminded me of the previous night's events. I ignored it as best as I can. I mean, best as I could. And forced an empty smile. I couldn't bring myself to answer that. I just flashed another smile, a confusing one that must have looked very strange to her, and left the classroom. Yeah, you guys had to think of something. As I walked, I thought back to my time in the hospital. Hmm. I was lying in bed, arms and legs virtually mummified in bandages. Where a woman with flowers came in to see me. Yamamura. So she's important because she has a character sprite. <laughs> and you don't anymore. Uh, Ayumi? Well, I mean, you're, in, you're supposed to be in bandages and in bed, so. Who are you? Uh, Mira. Mira. ヒノエトともにウィッカインスティテュートという精霊崇拝組合に所属しているものです。ウィッカインスティテュート。ウィッカインスティテュート。はい。これはお見舞いです。As she said this, she placed a banquet of flowers on the small table by the bed and looked around the room with a curious expression on her face. ご両親は今いらっしゃらない。お買い物に行っています。そう。お父さんもお母さんもまだ知らないのですよね。日の絵の。彼女が命を落としたあの日、あなたを追って旧篠崎家跡地へ向かう前に、日の絵は私に最後の連絡をくれていました。メイちゃんが。きっと自分の運命を理解して、そして受け入れていたのね。精霊は。
その分できる精一杯の行動と覚悟が持てる彼女は立派だったわ<笑> Tears began to pour from my eyes and I could do nothing to stop I had been sitting up in bed but unconsciously started to curl into a fetal position as best as I could with the bandages. Yamamura put her hand on my back to comfort me. Ayumi-chan, Hinoe no Ishii o tsutaeru wa. Kuro no hon. ブックオブシャドウズを取り戻しなさい代々篠崎家が守り続けてきた門外不出の近畿の書よ、uh, oh, あの本が心ないものの手に渡ればこの世は混乱の淵に落とされてしまう私たち WI は精霊と心を通わせる自然の意志にただそうとする白魔女の組合。ああ、like I said, plot sounds convoluted. ああ、ご両親の反対を押し切って、篠崎家から飛び出した日の絵は、今さら関わるのをためらっていたのだけれど、近年、その存在を感じるようになって、ずっと気にしていたの。私とウィッカの仲間で調べたけれど篠崎義江と幸子の屋敷跡地にはなかったわ更地だったはずのあの場所に焼け焦げた家の梁や瓦礫が現れていて驚いたけれどけれどあの場所からは消えても感じるの存在はまだ残っている。この世のどこかに。この町に。あなたや篠崎義江と同じ。篠崎家の血筋の方が住んでいたのは知っているかしら。山村はポールのノートブックを取り出し、彼女は名前を書いたトップシート。彼女は右手に書いたページを。Kina Shinozaki? I knew that name. It was on the family tree. Akina. I remember the name of Yoshie no Ie no Chikashitsu ni atta Shinozaki no Kakeizu. Yoshie no Ie ni narandai ta Kanojo no Haha no Imoto. Oba ni ataru hito. そのマキナさんの家に行けば何か黒の本を取り戻すための手がかりが残されているかもしれない私たちは霊に対する感受性が強すぎて部屋に入ることもできなかったわ何が起こるかわからないけれど日の江の意志を継ぐ強さがあるのなら頑張ってみなさい。And with that, Yamamura simply turned and left the hospital room. Another weirdo pops up. I just decided the door. A peculiar, peculiar girl started wait. As soon as Yamamura had covered enough distance to pull me out of earshot. The two of them spoke. Gokuro-sama. Kore de... Hii no ne. Eh... She was lying to us, huh? 
お前らが息をしているだけでこっちは虫酢が走るんだ殺さないでやるからさっさと消え失せろ I heard I thought Yamamura was important, but I don't think we ever see her ever again. Well, probably, but she'll probably die in the next time. The next time we see her, it'll probably be her uh, death. <laughs> Yamamura ran away as quickly as she could without drawing attention to herself. As if in response, the intimidating girl in the peculiar outfit sped onto the hospital wall. <laughs> As she mumbled these words, she sneaked a sidelong glance at me in my room. I was completely oblivious. I'll deny that. Yeah, she died way too easily. She just showed up and then died. How sad. It was time to meet my fate. I had no trouble locating Makin Makina's residence. I don't know what I was expecting, but what I found was just an ordinary apartment building. I couldn't involve Mochida, Mochida and the others in this. They've been doing enough already. Really? I mean... Besides, this was a family matter. My bloodline was responsible for, for this whole mess, so it was only right that I be the one to make amends alone. Sounds dangerous though. Because you think back to the Book of Shout incident. Yeah. I don't know what this Whenever you see a can on the map, you can examine it to restore your HP and save your game. Okay. Sounds great. Let's do it. Alright, so real gameplay is starting. Yeah, let's do that next episode. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. Well, um, hope you enjoyed this episode. I, maybe I think I might just stop reading from that one and just leave it. Anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Goodbye.